Hi team, I hope you're all well. Today I am here to announce the last final book support group readathon of 2022. Um, this is going to be the final one for the year, uh, so I can't believe that we're at this point already, but I'm very, very excited. Uh, this one is going to be a week long in November. I did do like a giant poll thing on Google Drive, but then apparently promptly deleted it and now I can't remember what people preferred. Uh, but as far as time is concerned, for me personally, it works better for me to do a dedicated week um, and just do it that way round. I There is potential for this to have a 24 slash 48 hour readathon included within that week as well on the weekend. So keep your eyes and ears open for that one over on the Twitter um, slash on YouTube as well and Instagram and I will keep you uh, in the loop on that one with what's going to happen with it. Maybe I will do like a dedicated like 24 slash 48 hour if I can fit it in on the weekend. The end of the year is a very busy time of year for me because I have so many birthdays, you know, Christmas, my own birthday, there's so many things going on um, and I'm spending lots of time with family and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, it's a very busy time for me, but the end of November is going to be our last and final final book support group readathon of 2022. Obviously, it'll be coming back in 2023. This is just the last one for the year. And the dates for this will be Monday at the 21st of November through till Sunday, <laughs> struggles, Sunday the 27th of October with the potential for the 24 slash 48 on the weekend. Uh, so yeah, we're running for a whole week. We'll go back to camp and try and finish those final books for the year. Try and get as many through as many as you possibly can. I know a lot of people wanted like a month long, but I can't commit to a month long readathon, not hosted one anyway. But if you all want to do a month long of November, getting through as many final books as you possibly can, please feel free to do so. And please tag me in anything that you do with that, with regards to that, because I would love to see it. It always makes me happy when people are finding that they're getting through more series when, uh, like because of Final Book Support Group, this was a community endeavor that has kind of um, really come together and seems to have taken off really, really well. And I'm really, really happy about that. And I'm very, very proud to kind of be the face of it. So I am glad to see that it seems to be working out for so many of you. I think it has for myself as well, but I really want to make more of an effort in November with this. I'm not going to be doing a whole month, but I may try and pick up more sequels than I normally would. But definitely that week, I'm going to be de dedicating that entire week to sequels on sequels alone. Um, so... Yeah, if you don't know what the final book support group is, I will leave a link to the original video in the description box down below. But essentially, it is a support group in which we support each other to get through those final books in series. I am an absolute stickler for starting series and getting to the point where I've got one final book left. And for some reason, I don't know if it's like a mental block or something, I just cannot finish the series. Sometimes I even just read the first book. I don't read the rest. I just read the first book and I don't carry on. I've loved it. The Poppy War, I gave five stars. Jade City, I gave five stars. I haven't continued with either of those series and I really want to. I just have a mental block on both of them. I don't know what's wrong with me. Not only that, but I've been in a fantasy slump so that doesn't help either. Um, so that's essentially what it is. And every other month I host a readathon, whether it be a week, I think we've done a week, we've done two weeks, we've done 24 hour, I think we've done 48 hour. And um, we just host a, a, we, I just host a readathon every other month, like a bi-monthly readathon if you like. We support it all year round. There is a Discord channel, a Twitter and Instagram. All the information is in the description box down below. But we essentially dedicate a certain amount of time every other month to um, focusing on final books. Every now and then people ask me for bingo boards and I find it really, really difficult to do these because it's final book support group. Like it's literally exactly what it says on the tin. Um, so I haven't necessarily done a bingo board, but if there's enough call for it in the comments down below or on Twitter slash Discord or Instagram, I will try my very hardest to throw something together. It's always difficult to pull prompts out of my backside for this though, because it's got to be specific to like final books. Um, so we do also have like, we support starting series and continuation station as well. So continuing series, we just support reading. But this is one of those things where every 
so often we were 100 hardcore going on trying to finish some series because i suck at finishing series so 21st to the 27th of november we do have merch if you would like to go and check out some of the merch like the jumper that i'm currently wearing we have jumpers t-shirts mouse mats dog ball mats cat ball mats we have aprons backpacks books um stickers all on the red bubble shop and then over on the daisy and bee shop which is run by myself and jade we do have bookmarks uh starter packs we also have a loyalty card and a little sticker as well the stickers aren't sold separately the loyalty cards are and the uh, starter pack is three bookmarks with a loyalty card and a sticker so if you would like to go and check those out links for everything in the description box are down below uh, but that's pretty much it i don't think there's anything else i need to tell you there will be reading sprints throughout that week i may if i'm feeling brave enough and i'm not too busy may try and do daily vlogging but also part of me wonders if there's any point because i'm at work on a wednesday and a thursday um so we'll see i'll let you know what i decide to do with that i might do daily vlogging and then just combine like wednesday thursday friday there are also andy's days off for that week so um i'll be wor at work wednesday and thursday and then probably with andy on the friday so i might not get too much reading done but i will keep you posted let you know what i'm doing and then maybe do daily vlogs on the saturday and sunday it all depends on if we do a 24 slash 48 hour on that weekend but either way for any other updates on this i just wanted to let you know when it's going to be um but for any other updates on this i will post them on the twitter page probably my youtube page and also the instagram and discord as well again links to everything in the description box down below and i hope that you will join us on this final round for 2022 i think the next round will probably be in january i feel like january is a good time to do a round because you want to start the year off with a bang you know so we probably will do around in January. I was going to potentially skip it, but if I skip it and do every other month, that means December, and December's never a good time for people. So January sounds like a good time. I'm not sure how long I'll do it for or whatever. I'll probably do another poll. Keep your eyes open for that as well. Uh, but yeah, 21st of November through till the 27th, I shall hopefully see you there to sort out through some final books. I'm excited, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.